Hello everyone, welcome to our video. Today I'm with two Spanish students. And first question, can you please introduce yourself, your name, major, and... Hi, my name is Alberto. And I'm a PhD student at the Mechanical Engineering Department. And as she mentioned, we are both from Spain. Uh, I'm Alba. I'm from the Materials uh, Science and Engineering Department, and I'm also doing a PhD. Where did you study for your undergrad? I studied my undergrad in Germany at KIT, Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, and then continued that for my master's, and that's how I first came to Korea. I studied in Spain in Polytechnic University of Catalonia, um, doing a physics engineering uh, bachelor's and then my master's I did it in KTH in Sweden in nanotechnology and it was my exchange studies my last uh, year of my master's that I did exchange studies in uh, Korea that's when I came. Oh, which university in Korea? Uh, oh, so I came to KAIST as an exchange uh, student and then just like kept, she kept, kept extending my visa she kept <laughs> until like, was six like, months, six should months. I start a PhD now? <laughs> She was a, the longest VSR that Kais has ever had. <laughs> what made you choose Kais? So for me particularly, Kais was one of the main reasons why I also continued my master's in Germany. Mm -hmm. And it was because I could see that there was an offering for a dual degree program. In my case, um, in my field, I was doing nanotechnology masters and in there there's like, it's kind of a broad topic and some of those were um, in semiconductor devices and there, there's on, only like maybe three countries or four countries that are like really big in this industry. So I came to KAIS because, you know, industry here is really big in this uh, technology. So. Uh, there's, I can just like continue reading papers and papers and all I can see is like, oh, Korean names, oh, guys, 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 guys. Mm. <laughs> so I guess I'm in the right institution for this field, yeah. definitely. What, like, would you, are you willing to share your GPA from your undergrad? My undergrad GPA when the German standard was 2.9 out of 4, but the lower the better. So I was, it was average but not usually for what you expect or the requirements for KAIS if you're applying directly as a graduate student. But I took the exchange student route to come here. So it was a little bit more lenient in that sense and it is good for people to know that it's not only about the grades, but KAIS focuses a lot on, on the research or what you've done, if you have previous industry experience or research experience. So I would say also one of the reasons why I preferred like KAIS over let's say an American university. I know like maybe they're like more strict on GPAs. Yeah, so actually I feel a little bit bad when I wear like KAIS on my clothes and people might look like, oh, you're from KAIS. I'm like, but it's not so hard for international students to get into KAIS compared to Korean students. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I think, feel like, oh. I think for them, for them it was much harder yeah, than so for us. Yeah, so you have now, way more merit, guys. Yeah, like, they, they don't see it, they don't see it from the camera, but they're both smiling and saying like, ah, yeah. Saying, like, yes, yeah, that, that was not hard. my experience. That was yeah. not my experience. <laughs> so aside from academics, let's talk about about something else what other activities do you actually do i worked at various institutes in my home university as a student uh, researcher and uh, two of them were related to my field right now which is 3d printing it was in the production engineering for kaita university working in polymer uh, printing i also worked part-time at mercedes-benz or daimler also in the 3d printing department and this is why i said before that the, the grades is not everything, it's, there's also other activities that you can do to beautify your application, let's say. I would say my experience maybe would be the exchange studies that I, I did in the US. I worked with uh, batteries and then um, during my bachelor's I participated in some engineering competitions, in some case studies and also right before uh, coming to Korea I uh, worked in a startup that worked with uh, microelectronic devices um, and I was an intern there. Do you get scholarships at KAIST? I, I cannot say that all international students receive the KAIST scholarship but I know of most of them they receive the KAIST scholarships which basically entails that you don't have to pay the, the school fees and it also establishes a minimum stipend that your laboratory will pay you or the university will pay you. The, the scholarship is not a set amount of money it's basically setting a regulation of how much they should at least pay you during your studies. Mm -hmm. 
but the most important part is that the tuition fees are waived. So mm. you're saving around 10,000 euros per year. Um, we were confirmed that not everybody gets it, but I think the percentage was around like 90% I think of, higher even. I, I would say like 95% of applicants get the yeah. Kai scholarship. And maybe yeah. that extra, that other 5% was based on people who come through different routes. Maybe a, mm, a government is sponsoring right. your studies. Oh, yeah. So they might be covered in another way. So, so could you tell us how much you get from the school? The minimum stipend I think is 400,000 or 500,000 Korean won per month plus the health insurance and then the lab can even top that up yeah. with more money so let's just say the bases are like 500,000 um, won monthly. It can vary a lot depending mm. on the lab mm. but it's definitely enough to survive and, and yeah. save money. At least living costs in Korea especially when you choose to live in the dorms and everything or it is quite cheap and eating outside or going drinking outside is not that expensive so yes. you Would you always... will save you <laughs> yeah <laughs> you will save so, your so, wallet so you so you will save your wallet but kill your liver it will kill you <laughs> it, it will kill the liver but save the wallet yeah. so it's good so it's up to you <laughs> efficient way to yeah. get drunk right right want to, i guess um how much do you actually spend in a month eh, so i would say realistically around 700 but that is also because I live outside campus. In my case, I keep it to 500. I guess it's up to everybody how they yeah. use their money or mm -hmm. their priorities. But yeah, I think yeah, it's you can be quite comfortable with that amount. Also, since you didn't mention the Kai storms, I guess I will. So for so for your information, Kai storms are extremely cheap. Mm. Mm. So if you're living on a budget, Kai storm is a very good option for you. Like the maximum you have to pay per month for the most. The nicest Kai Storm is 160 something thousand per month. So, uh, can you live in Korea without like having to speak Korean? There is, of course, like a limit to the amount of things I can do. But in daily life, outside of Kai Storm, you can get through, just people understand what you want. Like they're used to international people. And within Kai Storm, everything is done in English. So there is no barrier to anything. Yeah, people are very welcoming and I personally never had a problem. I think also we didn't have a problem because uh, when we need help, anybody is really easy to just come and help us. Although I would recommend learn a Learning. little bit. Learn Korean, <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's actually, it's quite easy and fun to learn, honestly. So on campus or even outside, were there opportunities for you to learn Korean? In campus, definitely. So KAIST offers in the Language Center Korean courses uh, for anyone. It doesn't matter if you are a student, they also offer it for outside people. Mm -hmm. Also, during your graduate studies, you can actually get credits recognized mm -hmm. by studying Korean. Next question is, can you introduce the on-campus visa center and the other visa options? Ooh, I think that is the biggest change and benefit to international students. So before, I think the immigration office was 30 minutes by car, by taxi or something. It took 45 minutes by bus. Yeah. <laughs> I remember because I had to go so many times. Yeah, and now it's a five minute walk from where we are right yeah, now. Yeah, so convenient. They, they opened a the visa center for Kai students here in campus. Um, I think it's a great move for international students that they have mm. this office in Kai State. And also, we, they have opened this F27 visa for Christ graduates and I, I got it myself last year after graduating from the master and it's very very convenient it's a long-term visa so you don't have to be renewing it after graduation you can stay here without having to change mm. right now Kaiser is making a lot of effort to make the life of international students yeah. more easy or convenient let's say yeah there is a lot of initiatives including mm. this video for example mm. and but the biggest change it was that visa center yeah Last question. Oh. Can you tell our viewers why they should come to KAIS for graduate school? My main way of saying it would be because of the opportunities, either in terms of research right now or in terms of experiencing a new culture or opportunities after graduating. Korea is a country that offers many opportunities in many, in many aspects. Also, if you want to create a company or something, there is many options for you and uh, KAIST is getting into a position in the um, technology field where 
um, companies want to make collaborations with yeah. Kais in a higher level. Um, recently, President Yoon came to the campus um, and is promoting these collaborations. So I think Kais will be more and more in the spotlight. So um, if you're in this field, uh, I think Kais will give you a lot of opportunities in terms of research. Um, you will have the chance to, if you're interested in research, you will have the chance to like publish a lot and your name will yeah. be out there, um, attend many, many uh, conferences and so on and so forth. So I think Kais is so open in this sense and um, I'm overwhelmed at the opportunities that uh, it offers. So yeah. I will totally recommend uh, coming for that. When yeah. this video comes out, you should share it to everyone you know. Mm. So you should like and subscribe to <laughs> yeah, Okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Promise, 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 promise. Okay, thank you guys again so much for thank your you time. So much. I had so much fun talking mm. to you and I hope Us you guys felt the same. Yeah, thank <laughs> yeah, you so much for, for having, having us. us. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys also yeah. for watching. Yeah. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe. <laughs>